Hi guys, it's me, your biology facilitator, Dr. Seema Sharma, and you are watching my YouTube channel, BioHub. Dear friends, this video is about the basic differences between test cross and back cross. This video will also help you to figure out the correct option in MCQ questions based on this content, whether they are there in the board exam or in neat UG paper. So, without much ado, let's get started. First point, definition. The cross between F1 hybrid or unknown genotype and recessive parent is called a test cross. Same is illustrated in this flowchart where you can see two pure line parents for one trait when they are crossed in F1 generation hybrid is obtained. When this hybrid is back crossed with the recessive parent that cross is called a test cross. Coming to back cross, the cross between F1 hybrid and any one of its parents, either dominant or recessive, is called a back cross. Here also you can see two pure line parents when cross in F1 generation hybrid is obtained. When this F1 hybrid is crossed with the dominant or with the recessive parent, that type of cross is called a back cross. Point number two, all test crosses are back crosses because in all test crosses, F1 hybrid is back crossed with the recessive parent. So, they are back crosses. On the other hand, a back cross is not always a test cross. A back cross is only a test cross if F1 is crossed with the recessive parent. And back cross is an out cross if the F1 hybrid is crossed with dominant parent. And same is visible in this illustration. This first one is a dominant back cross and the second one is a recessive back cross. Point number three, the purpose. Test cross helps in the identification of actual genotype of the dominant individual. Means if one individual is tall, then this test cross helps to figure out whether it's genetically pure tall or genetically a hybrid tall. On the other hand, back cross helps in improving desirable characters in the parental population. Fourth point, it's about the F2 ratio of these crosses. F2 ratio of test cross. You can see in this Punnett square, F1 it is crossed with the recessive parent and in F2 generation, 100% yellow colored seeds were obtained. This means the genotype of this unknown F1 plant is pure dominant. That's why the test ratio is 1 is to 0. On the other hand, if in F2 generation, 50% of yellow seeds and 50% of green seeds are obtained, this clearly means that the genotype of F1 plant is a hybrid. And that's why the test ratio is 1 is to 1 and same is visible here. Two yellow colored seeds were produced and two green colored seeds were obtained. Coming to back cross, F2 ratio of back cross is visible in this Punnett square F1 plant is crossed with dominant parent and the phenotypic ratio in F2 generation is plants with all yellow colored seed. So, phenotypic back cross ratio in this case is 1 is to 0 but genotypical ratio is 1 is to 1. So, from these diagrammatic illustrations, we can conclude that test cross of F1 hybrid with recessive parent produces both dominant and recessive characters in equal proportion which is visible in this case. Whereas, back cross with dominant parent produces all dominant characters visible in this Punnett square. So, that's it about the basic differences between test cross and back cross. With this, it's time to wind up this video. Thank you so much for watching and supporting Biohub. Good luck. Take care. Bye-bye.